Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I was developing uh, an UFPS, uh, the ultimate first-person shooter add-on for Unity, uh, with Forge Networking, and I came across this need for being able to spawn a remote object. So basically, the uh, player would have one object, and another player would have the same object on their screen, but on my screen it would be a different object. So there became this idea that uh, whenever I spawn something, it should be a particular thing, and whenever someone else spawns something, it should be uh, something different. So I want to show how we can actually achieve that easily without any code uh, now uh, that I've added it to the system. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two objects. I'm going to create a cube, and I'm going to create a sphere. So a cube and a sphere. Cube, sphere, I'm going to zero them, zero them out. Okay, so basically on both of these, I'm going to put in a, uh, a networked monobehavior. So networked monobehavior. So they're both networked objects. And uh, let's just imagine I was controlling their positions and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is inside of my prefabs here, I'm going to drop in the sphere. I'm going to drop in the cube. So I have my two different prefabs. And I'm going to call this uh, cube the uh, main main guy and the sphere is going to be main guy remote now this is very important the remote is actually spelled with uh, let's not blow it up Brent with uh, parentheses and remote capital R no space so basically whenever you put in the same exact name as another prefab uh, with remote, that's basically most of the work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a uh, networking manager, drop it into my scene, and then what I'm going to do in here for its network instantiates, I'm going to drop in the main guy, and I'm going to drop in the main guy remote, and I'm going to add a uh, the create, what is it, uh, spawn, Hold on, I'm going to pause and find this script. I forgot the name. Okay, I didn't even look for it because I remembered it. Make player. So what I'm going to I'm going to do make player, and I'm actually going to make main guy, not remote. Remote just stays here instead of the list. So we have main guy, main guy, remote. But I'm going to be creating the main guy for whenever a player uh, joins this scene. So I'm going to save out this scene. I'm going to copy the scene name. So copy the name. I'm going to go to the menu and canvas and scene name and paste it in there. I'm going to build out a client and we're going to check it out. So here we are. I'm going to play and it doesn't really matter which one's which. Uh, basically, come on now. So I'm going to host over here. Notice that my server believes that it is a cube. And over here, I'm going to join. Notice that it thinks the server is a sphere and it thinks itself is a cube. This is it right here. Uh, this is our, our client that I can't move uh, because it's in control of it and I don't have the authorities on. But uh, I can move this cube to be way over there. So notice that uh, I see my own uh, object as a cube and I see the other object as a sphere. And so that's basically what the remote objects are for. Uh, you want to set them up similarly and uh, then they'll be able to simply uh, spawn a remote object, which is a different prefab for a remote player. So that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any, uh, if you have any questions, please let us know.